Okay, I've got my Premiere Pro 2022 open, and I've dragged some folders over into the media area where I've done some pre-separation on how I want to organize these. But the first thing I want to do, we're going to do the terminal first, so I'm going to select all the clips in here, and then I'm going to right click, speed duration, and I am going to set them all at 15 seconds each. Since these are VR clips, I want to give people the chance to look around. So I'm going to drag these three down to my timeline. Now you'll notice when I try and toggle to 360 view, when, since it's just a clip, if, I, if, if, if I'm using 360 video, it seems to recognize that right away. But since these are just JPEG files, it doesn't recognize that these are VR clips, so I can't toggle VR mode. So how you've got to change that is you come up to Sequence, go to Sequence Settings, set the projection to equirectangular, monoscopic, 360 by 180, and click OK. And so now it recognizes that it's a 360 video and we can toggle. If you don't see this little toggle icon here, just hit the, pl the plus sign here, find it here, and then click and drag it down into this blue box. Since we've already got it down there, I don't need to do that, but that's how you can add this toggle icon. Now, I don't like it square view, so I like to come up here to Settings, VR Video, and Settings. And I like to change this to 160 by 90. And so I like that view much better. And so now we're going to come to each of the clips. And we're going to see whether or not we like the starting position. I like the starting position of this one but I do not like the starting position of this one. I would rather have it be pointing in this direction. So I'm going to set my view here to zero. Then I'm going to come up here and make sure effects are selected. I'm going to search for VR. And I want to do VR Rotate Sphere. So I'm going to click and drag that down to the second clip. And I'm going to change the pan to 180. And then that is how I want it to be. And let's look at the next clip. And it's the same with that. So I'm going to click the VR Rotate Sphere down. And we will change the pan of that to 180. All right, now we want to add some text so that we can identify what this photo is. So I'm going to move my cursor here over to the beginning because that's where I want my text to be. And I'm going to click on the text tool down here. I'm going to untoggle the VR view. And then I'm going to just click and drag a box. And then I'm going to start typing what I want the text to be. This is the sweet waiting area of the Galveston terminal. So down here now, we're going to select our text. We're going to expand the text portion. And this is where we can make any changes that we want to make. For instance, I would like to center align this. The fill color I will have as yellow. The shadow color we'll, have, we'll keep as black. 
And then as we scroll this down, okay, these are the different settings that we want. And if we want to see how that's going to look, we'll retoggle our VR display. And this is what it's going to look like where we have that positioned. I would want to have it more in the center, so I'm going to untoggle this again. I'm going to select my selection tool, and I'm going to click and drag this. And I guess that, that looks okay right like that, but you'll notice that it's curved. I don't want it to be curved, so I'm going to untoggle my VR display. I'm going to come over here to Effects and I'm going to search for VR Plane. And here it is right here, VR Plane to Sphere. I'm going to click and drag that down over the text, which is in B2. And I want to come down here and I want to find the VR Plane to Sphere, which is right here. I want to change the scale to 100. And now when we toggle it, that looks much better. I'll maybe want it to be a little bit higher. So I'm going to untoggle again. I'm going to still make sure that I'm in the selection tool. And I'm going to click and drag this up just a little bit here. And I'll toggle the VR view. And I like that. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is I want to be able to see that text in different areas than just the front because if I'm looking in this direction, I want to be able to, to see it. So I'm going to change this back to zero to get us back to our starting position. I am going to select the text down here. I'm going to do a Control C to copy it. Then I'm going to select my... Uh, V3 here. I'm going to make sure this cursor is where I want it to be, which is at the very beginning. And I'm going to do Control V to paste it. Then I'm going to do it to V4. I'm going to move this cursor back to the front. Control V to paste it. And I'm going to unselect V4 and select V5. Move my cursor back to the beginning and do another Control V to paste it. So what that has done now is it's copied our text three other times. And if you don't have the lines here, like say it just ends at V3, you would right click here and you would add a track and you would add a video track after the last video track. So right now we've got a V5. So if you click OK, that adds a V6. So if you need to add more of these to add more text files, then that's uh, what we want to do. OK, so we've got our first one here, which is our original that we just did. Now we're going to select the second one. We're going to rotate, find, rotate projection. We're going to expand that out, and we're going to Change the projection pan of that to 90 degrees. Now we're going to select the third text. Going to find rotate projection again. We're going to expand it. We're going to do the pan to 180 degrees. And then we're going to select our last one. We're going to find rotate projection over here under effects control. And this one, we're going to do 270 degrees. So now, if we move our cursor back over to the beginning, you'll notice we have the text right here. And now, as we rotate, we've also got it at the 90 degrees. We've got it at the 180 degrees. And we've got it at the 270 degree. So we've got the text all the way around. And this particular text, if we right click on it 
and we do the speed duration, it's going to show for about four and a half seconds, and that's sufficient. So our starting angle here then is going to be like this. And so if we hit play, and if we rotate around, for four and a half seconds we'll have the text. And then we can use the rest of the time here to just explore the photos which are going to be displayed for 15 seconds each. And that's how you can add the text to the photos in your slideshow. OK, and now we're ready to export. And so we're going to come up here to File, and Export, Media. For format, we are selecting H264. You can change uh, the output name and uh, where you want it to be outputted to. Export the video. Since this is just still photos, we don't need to export any audio because there is no audio. But if you were exporting video, then of course you'd want to export the audio also. And then for down here for the video, you want to scroll down. And you want to match the source for the video settings. And we keep the default for everything else except for the bit rate. We're going to do the variable bit rate to pass. And I'm going to set the target bit rate to 30. You can get slightly better by going 60, but you get twice as much, twice as large of a file size. The maximum bit rate, I'm just going to set to 60. And so I find that's a good compromise to get a somewhat reasonable file size. Like for instance, for this particular video of just these three clips, that are planned for 15 seconds each, at 30-bit rate, we get a file size of approximately 165 megabytes. At, if we set the target bit rate to 60 right here, we'll get a file size of roughly 333 megabytes in size. And so once again, that's for these three clips that are 15 seconds each. And so that is mainly the difference that you're going to have. You, you'll need to adjust this, use the defaults for everything else, and then just click the Export button, and that should export your video.